Okay, my friends, it's Roger once again. Everybody's talking about viruses, viruses. Well, what is virus? What is viral replication? What does that mean? Well, viral replication is the formation of biological viruses during the infection process in the target host cell. So they, they make these viruses inside of a host cell. What's a host cell? That means a cell that's in your body that one of these little virus things comes up and attaches to it and goes inside of it and it starts making viruses. Here's exactly what it says. It says the viruses must first get into the cell before viral replication can occur. So where did the virus come from? Well, how does it get into the cell? <clears throat> well, viruses are identical, no difference whatsoever, from enzymes. They're not alive. They do chemistry. They are dispatched by bacteria. And everybody says, oh, you're being invaded by the bacteria. No, you're not. The bacteria is there to create programs. The bacteria create the virus, but they don't keep create zillions of them. They recreate a few copies. They go down and get into these host cells. The host cells are the things that's pumping out the viruses. These become manufacturing factories, the host cells. And they shoot out these viruses with, they have two things going on. Here's the deal right here. It's very, very, very simple, and it's very, very, very deadly or healthy. This is what bacteria do in you. You have good ones, you have bad ones. And they create viruses, the bad ones, and they create enzymes, the good ones. They're identical, no difference whatsoever. They're chemistry kits. And they're a big, long, hold on, they're a big, long molecule. Let's see, uh, they're proteins, basically. Well, this is interferon. This is what they're using to block these. Um, let me see, I have bacteria. No, I'm showing interferon, but, but this is basically the same thing. The enzymes, uh, well, <clears throat> these are, enzymes are, are very, very similar. They're tangled up little molecules. And because they're all tangled and hooked together in certain ways, they have to be exactly that. And then that is a program. It's identical to the program. It goes down, and if there's two things on it. It's not alive. It's a program of molecules. So it's a chunk of molecules. And it's rolling around. You saw it was all tangled up in there. You see it? And it rolls around and rolls around, and then it does something. Well, what does it do, and how does it know what to do, and where does it do it? It's got two bits to that program. There's what <clears throat> they call an antigen, and that's a little piece of it, and that's the address. And you say, well, how does it address it? Well, it's a molecule. It has different chemistry, and what they do is they click, 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 and if they find that same chemistry somewhere else, they hook on and blip, it says, oh, you're the guy that can come in here. And it says, yes, I am. It says, okay, come on in. So that's your address. <clears throat> and it says before, you saw it say, it has to get into the cell. So it gets into the cell because it has the right chemistry for the right address to that receptor, which is all those little things you see them sticking off the COVIDs. So it hooks in there and it says, okay, good, I'm here. And it says, okay, well, drop your antibody in, because that's the other part. You have an anti antigen, and it's attached to the antibody, which is the payload. All right. The delivery agent, the bomb. <laughs> and that's what it is. It gets in there, and it breaks up chemistry. Almost all of them do that. <clears throat> the reductase and aces, all kind of aces protease and all these things and what they do is and the next thing you know you got gold or something else comes out of there now what it is is it's they are molecular mutators they change the molecules into whatever the bacteria program sent so what is the what is the, those little molecules do they just sit inside that cell no they go out into the blood. And what do they do there? They go into blood. How do they get into the blood? Well, the blood comes by with what's called transition metals. 
hold on. They're right there. These blue jobbers, transition metals. And what is a transition metal? What, what's that all about? They have a little hole inside that element. It's called a, a it's a d-orbital space. You don't have to know the details about it. Think of it this way. It's a, it's a molecule, that, it's, they call them metal complexes. It's like iron in your body. Fe of, of iron in your blood, and it goes up through your lungs, and oxygen comes by, and it goes, and it grabs it, FeO2, okay, well it grabs FeO3, and then it goes through your body, and somebody says, hey, I'd like to have some of that oxygen. It says, okay, give me a molecule, you know, an, a, a, an electron or whatever, and I will give you this, and then it comes back and it grabs another. And it goes back and forth. That's how those things do. They're pinchers. They're ligands. So the blood metals transport the molecules. So what do we need so far? We need the bacteria or nothing at all. You're done. Your case is closed. You might as well go home. So if you have the right bacteria, you will create either a bad virus or you'll create enzymes. You'll be creating both of them. And normally the enzyme fights the, back, the, the, the virus so that they play against each other. That's the whole deal going on here. And that's what they're missing. Because you need all these different bacteria in your gut. So right now what you're taking is probiotics. That's what everybody I'm recommending. Everybody's taking them and everybody's healthy as far as I can determine. I'm not finding anybody sick. Uh, it's been taking the probiotics. You know, I don't care how old you are. I'm 71 years old. I feel pretty good. So anyway, <clears throat> the ligands attach to these little molecules that you need. And then they deliver them to wherever in your body wants them. Because your body knows exactly what it needs to do what it's designed to do. I'm telling you, it's, it never has anything approach this kind of elegance that you could possibly conceive to be able to think and react and do all of the things and have your body do and think and do, you know I mean I'm telling you well most people aren't thinking <laughs> well let's get past the think part anyway what you need is all of the stuff I'm talking about you need the metals which is in the foods you got to have the good foods you don't have the good foods you're done I mean you could take a lot of Supplements and supplements help. That's, that's true. Uh, we need more work in that area to find out really what the true quality and what the arrangement of molecules is that gives you the best benefit for that. There's some work to do there, but that's not not a lot. The people who have been looking into that pretty good. Uh, you know, the people that are on that side, the crazy people. That's what they call them. No. So what we need is good food. And you need bacteria. However you get it, I'm not sure. You might have to eat dirt. I, I don't know. Well, they do. They put um, homeost... Uh, I can't well, forget what they call them. But they're, they're, they're um, soil organisms. You know, Which is, that's just normal. That's normal life. And, you know, to, to sterilize everything that you do, that's not the way to do it. Anyway, you got to have the good food, which have all of the good metals and all of the good molecules and all of the good things that, that, that are designed that are in here and then you have to have the bacteria to break it down and then if you don't have that at least you can get probiotics to help you because most people have already killed their bacteria with antibiotics that's what happened to me I ended up having to have surgery twice now uh, so I'm, trust me, I am into this D. I understand this stuff. I'm no idiot at this. You know, you can laugh at me and say, oh, the guy didn't go to Yale or Harvard or anything. Well, thank God. Thank God. And secondly, you never find God there either. And I am a true believer in God as well. I believe in reality and truth. And there's not a possibility that any of this happened by dead dust just banging together and doing this stuff. That is the weakest, weak-minded. I call them PhDs, perfectly happy deluded. That's the only way you could possibly accept that solution. Anyway, I suppose I'm going to get off this now. <clears throat> Bacteria in your gut, 100% right now. And we got to get rid of this glyphosate because glyphosate's going to kill it. It appears to me glyphosate's a, 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 a bacteria killer. All right, as I mentioned before, I do a lot of videos 
that I, you're never going to see because I start screaming or I say some stupid stuff. Well, I'm done with worrying about being rude or saying stupid stuff. So here it comes. Okay, I, I, I have to apologize here because uh, to this person because they put up here COVID-19 caused by vaccines. Dr. Judy so-so says PhD. Now, whenever I see a PhD, I immediately just <laughs> done. So I said, I guarantee she's clueless about the gut bacteria, serious implications. 100% of the PhDs I have found are incompetent on a level almost unimaginable. And that's just true, and I'm sorry. I have presented facts that are undisputable, and they just, they, I don't know whether they're that incompetent or it's just that they, yeah, well, I know that they, they, nobody can be that incompetent. It's impossible. They say, oh, Roger, you keep showing this. You shouldn't mix your research. Well, let me tell you something. That's a gigantic fish, and that's a gigantic dragon. You have Google Earth. Go there yourself, and that's Atlantis. Totally understood by Plato. It all ran out of here. And that's a gigantic fish. This gigantic dragon spit all this stuff, and it, I don't know if it killed them, but it sure as hell beat them up. And that's the gigantic dragon, and this is his gigantic throat. And those are his gigantic scales, and they are gigantic. This dragon is a thousand miles long. Now, if you are so weak-minded that you have to say, Ooh, it just scares me too much to see it. I don't know what your mind is like to be able to see this and say, no, 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 it's not real. Well, it is real. And it was written about, I don't know if anybody knew it was a thousand miles long, but it's just damn sure a thousand miles long. And it is damn sure a big fish. There's a lot to look at that's not being looked at, and that's why I get so upset. Because I know that none of this other stuff is looked at either. They oh, okay, we're doing all this research. No, they're not. They have a position, and that's it. It's done. As far as I'm concerned, I see no reaction to, to anything that's presented unless they already have a stake in the outcome of it that it's going to reflect on them favorably. If it reflects on them unfavorably, forget about it. You might as well throw it in the woods.